the, the funding that was going to be provided to businesses that, that were closing was very much different from the furlough scheme. Um, because there was no anticipation of the furlough scheme continuing, and in fact, as you said to the committee, you were very firm about that. Why was there such a difference between the funding that would have been available from one scheme to the other? Um, we, we, and you're saying, when, just to be clear, because so, tier three is very similar to national lockdown, is, is the point. So, yeah. so, Tom. so the, the, the jobs, so the, the job support scheme was, was developed in, in August and September and announced in September. Um, and that was at a time when the, uh, the hope was that the economy would be largely open, um, uh, but with um, largely open and recovering, but with particular restrictions, temporary, restri temporary restrictions in particular areas. And so um, the, the purpose of the scheme was to move from a scheme, the, the, the furlough scheme, which in effect supported people to stay at home, to a job support scheme, which uh, uh, was designed to support people back into work. It had different levels of support depending on whether uh, a business was uh, open uh, or closed. Um, open, maybe able to operate below the normal capacity, but but still operating in some way. Um, that so that was designed for that kind of world and that kind of economy. Over the subsequent five or six weeks, as you as you as you as you all know, um, the um, transmission rate of the virus increased significantly in pretty well all regions, and okay. so as a consequence, we moved to back to a national policy. And at that point, the Chancellor felt that the original furlough scheme was best suited to that changing circumstance. Okay, it just seems that that doesn't seem very logical to me, um, given that the impact on individual businesses is, is almost identical for tier three and the local, uh, the national lockdown. Um